So welcome back to another video. I don't have any hands available right now. We call these Nachis in South Africa. I think you guys call them Easy Peelers in England. Easy Peelers, we call them Nachis. Anyways, we're on en route to the car. Last night, guys, for those of you who didn't see the video, was driving around with James and his R8 V10 Plus. Make sure you go and check it out. It was a very fun video. Despite the fact the camera quality was not the best we had didn't have the best lighting unfortunately but um on my way to my car now and let's be honest this autumn time of year is so sick especially for pictures with cars stay tuned there she is i'm so sorry that i was driving another car last night it's okay <laughs> and i did have a lot of fun but guys it doesn't mean i don't still appreciate this absolute beauty of a car all right guys so the whole point of these videos especially these vlog style videos is to show you guys what it is like to own in a bath 595 Terrorism. i'm going to show you a cold start let's get started if you have a cat back system if you live in a small neighborhood and the houses are very close together you're probably going to get complaints you're probably going to have to park far like i do <laughs> as you can tell guys my own private parking lot and we're about to hit up a cold start this is what it's like if you're getting welcomed by your bath. You get a little load up screen, pretty cute. And cold start. Here we go. It doesn't actually sound that dramatic. Probably from where you guys are sitting. But at four in the morning or 4.45 a.m. when I get up to leave for work sometimes, it's a bit too loud. I think that's the issue guys, is I leave too early in the morning. It's not really the car to be honest. Let's have a look. I don't know what it is. There is no back box, so it can't be that. It's got to be like a clamp or something. Obviously, when it goes from hot to cold or cold to hot. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but that's exactly the sound that I'm talking about. It's just like a slight rattle on that down drop from the high rev to the, to the low. I wonder if it's just purely because there's so much air coming out there. I'm not sure. Or the change in temperature affecting the clamps. I have no idea. But that's the only time it really comes to play. Something I wanted to make mention of. Something I really love about, obviously, the facelifted models. You'll have like these LED lights. Okay, so this is... Obviously the headlight isn't on right now, but if I turn this on, then this is just pure LED. I'm gonna show you guys now, and it looks really sick. So as you can see now, the light in there has turned off, which I don't know why they have that on there. I wish they just left it as the pure LED 24 seven, because that looks so much better. If you look at it from afar, you get much more effect from it. I feel like it just makes the car look a bit more stancy, which is really nice. And it also just shows off a bit of the more modern type style rather than, you know, the older 
style facelift. But anyways, guys, let's get this show on the road. So we are at the petrol station. I'm about to fill up. You guys are going to see how much I put into the car, how much it takes. Um, just upon observation, there is a, the previous car that must have been here. must have been something pretty big. It's a 53-liter tank or what they filled up with anyways. And 77 pounds. <laughs> let's have a look. Ooh, that's definitely not going to be the Fiat 500. I'm gonna need two hands, Yona. Yep. All the way. First click, what do you guys go to? Tank is full, 43 pounds, 31 liters. She was quite empty. On reserves, basically. Your black Americano. It's gym time now, so. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys. Petrol's in. Coffee's secured. We're headed off to the gym. Um, average currently is thirty-five point eight miles to the gallon. Uh, which is not too bad. Again, that's a non-sport mode. If I am in sport mode, I usually average 37, give or take. All right, guys, I think we're parked next to an M135R. Very meaty cars. Coffee secured. Gym's about to go underway. Chest and biceps today. We'll see you guys for another cold start shortly. All right, guys, we are back with another cold start. Gym session is wrapped up. As I was saying guys, gym session is wrapped up. We're now headed home, go and eat some nice food, some avo, some eggs, some sourdough. Post-workout guys, it's not overcomplicated. Keep things simple. Loads of vitamin C, potassium, a whole lot of other nutrients that my body's gonna need. I'll have this on my way home. And uh, yes, stay real guys, see you soon. Alrighty guys, this is good timing. We're about to lose light here in England. And as soon as we do, my quality of my camera always goes a bit weird because there's not enough natural lighting. But anyways guys, this is another day of what it's like to live within a Bath 595. This is a Turismo model for anyone that is new to the page. 2018 model, so it's the facelifted version series four. If I'm not mistaken, please correct me if I'm wrong. But guys, thank you so much for watching the videos. Thank you to all of you who are still here. Thank you to those of you who joins at such an early stage. I know who you are. I take notes of everything. I try to respond to everyone. So guys, if you've ever got comments, if you've ever got questions you want to ask about the car or any cars in general, I have a lot of knowledge, not just in the baths, but in terms of other vehicles as well. I've had a few V8s in my past. So guys, thank you so much for watching. You will see me soon in another video and there is going to be more mix-up content coming. So for example, the video like with the R8, um, my mate James, he's wanting to do a little bit more footage as well. So there's going to be a lot more things coming guys and a lot of mods that I also want to do to my car. I know I keep saying it, but it's also a matter of being able to afford to pay for mods. So thank you to those of you who've stuck around guys and thank you for those of you who will continue to do so. I really appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned.